Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. And like I promised, this time we're going to move right on to salsa, because people love to say salsa. Salsa, salsa. Um, okay, so salsa, a lot of people ask me, you know, isn't pico de gallo and salsa the same thing? I mean, can't you just make pico de gallo and add some water or something? They're really two completely different creatures. Salsa is a dipping sauce. So it's actually cooked and reduced and made in a pot. And it has a lot more ingredients than we think it does. But it does include a lot of the different ingredients that we've been working on during prep class. Having said that, I'm going to completely and totally cheat during this entire thing, just so you guys have a good recipe for salsa that you can whip out of your hat anytime a party just happens at your house and, and you need to entertain. And Well, this is a good salsa recipe to throw that away. First thing I want to do is talk about garlic because we haven't really approached garlic at all during the prep class. And it comes in a nice little bulb like this and it breaks off into little tiny pieces like this. Now this is called a garlic clove. And as you can see, it's covered in this really hard kind of covering on it, which is not very easy to do. Um, in the restaurants, I always end up with bags of what's already pre-peeled garlic. Now, a lot of your Italian mafioso movies and whatnot will give you all sorts of advice on how to prep garlic and how to do all of that sort of stuff. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cover a couple of the different little basics. When you have a garlic clove that you've just pulled off and it's got that hard shell on it, look for this little seeded bit right at the very tip and go ahead and cut that off. Now go ahead and dispose of. Now lay this down so that the rounded part is up and use your knife blade just to crush it a little. Once crushed, most of that outside skin will just peel right off. And you'll discover the first thing that Italians learned a very long time ago. Garlic is sticky as all get out. <laughs> really makes your fingers sticky quick. Now, minced garlic, and I know there's a few of my favorite movies where the Italian mafioso is using a razor blade and he's cutting it really thinly so it melts in the pan. Well, for the most part, in regular cooking, we're just dealing with minced garlic. And minced garlic is just what it is. Really tiny little cuts, one way, and then the other way, just kind of like dicing, except on a very small form. And then again, like we did with the cilantro, go ahead and butterfly it a bit. You want to mince it up, make it really small. Now, this salsa recipe calls for two garlic cloves. And since I have a couple over here already, I'm going to go ahead and show you the technique again. Slice one way. Slice the other way, got some hanging out on my blade. And it's like the rough chop on the onion. Just keep cutting up the bits and pieces until you have them exactly where you want them to be. Now, there's a lot of different family traditions and ideas about garlic. Um, most of the recipes I deal with deal with the minced garlic, but feel free to Throw in anything you hear from anybody else you've seen, from the movies or from your family or from tradition. Like I said, if you get it a little bit right, we're probably going to eat it too. Now, for salsa, the first thing we're going to start with, and I know I'm cheating here, we just went through how to dice tomatoes, but this is a fast, oh my goodness, everybody's here, uh, I need salsa because I have chips. So we're going to start with diced tomatoes in a can. Be sure to use the water as well, and we're going to stick this into a double quart boiling pot. Now we've got our diced tomatoes. Now, because this is a sauce, it does require the sauce, and this is, we've got a can of tomato sauce. Now in prep class, tomato sauce would be what? That's right. It's quartered tomatoes boiled down until they have turned into a nice pasty sauce with water added. Like I said, again, they're coming, we're cheating. Okay, so 
the next thing we want to do is we want to add water. Now, we added 14 ounces of diced tomatoes and 14 ounces of tomato sauce, so we want to add another 14 ounces of water. So the easiest bachelor farmer method is take that 14 ounce can, fill it up with water, toss that in there too. Now the next thing up is going to be our fresh jalapenos. I went ahead and pre-minced three fresh jalapenos using the same method as before. Remove the seeds, wash the cutting boards, wash my hands, wash my clothes, wash my hair, wash my lips, wash my nose, wash everything, wash my knife, and it's all in here. So I'm going to use the same spoon. We're going to go ahead and add those in. Try not to touch the inside of the bowl and then wipe your lip. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so next up, now that we've got that in there, is we're going to add a few little spices. Number one is our garlic, which we've completely and totally minced. And next up is going to come some of our spices. First of all, we're going to get our handy dandy teaspoon measure, our bottle cap. We're going to add a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of cumin, and it's okay if it's a little fat rounded teaspoon, teaspoon of chili powder. We're going to stick those in there, and that is your salsa recipe. Now what you're going to want to do is mix all of these ingredients together. Oh, I heard somebody say, I forgot the onion. I forgot the onion. Yes, I did. Onion. The onion helps to add flavor and substance. It gives you that chunky bit that ends up being on your uh, chip. And as I said before, salsa is a sauce. So now that we have all of these flavors combined, what we'll do is we'll bring this up, we'll bring this mixture up to a boil, and then we'll let it simmer until it reduces down into a really nice thickness, and then we'll go ahead and refrigerate it for an hour or so so that it cools down, let it be at room temperature, serve it to your friends. That's salsa, because we like to say salsa. And as I said, if you get it just a little bit wrong, more than likely, we're, we're still going to eat it. And until next time, be good, be good at it, and stay out of my cool.